Hi everyone, so this video will learn how to change background of a selected text using CSS. So let's get started. We are going to use this selection pseudo element to change the background color. As you can see it has a couple of properties available here. In case of legacy Firefox browser, if the version is 61 and below, you must use this pseudo element. Otherwise you can go with this. Also if you want to check the compatibility of this pseudo element, you can go to canaiuse.com and simply put this selection pseudo element and you will get this output. So you can see it is supported by most of the browsers. Okay. Now let's go to HTML file and have the basic structure. Add link to a style sheet, style.css. Here we need three elements. First h1 element, let's make it, this is h1 element. We need one p element. So probably this is paragraph element. We need one div element. So let's make it this is div element. Save it. Now go to style sheet. Select body element. Display will be flex. Flex direction will be column. Align items will be center. Select h1 element, p element, and the div element. Border will be one pixel solid black. Padding will be 10 pixels. Now select the P element and here we'll use the selection pseudo element. So background color will make in this case black and the color font will make white. Okay. In case of a div element, on the selection, I want to make the background color yellow and the font color I want red. Now just save it, open this file in the browser. So to select this entire sentence, we have to double click. By default, you can see we are getting this blue background and the white font. Here we are getting black background, white font. In this case, we'll get yellow background and red font. If you want to change the background color on text selection of all the elements, then instead of using this element with the pseudo element, we can simply take pseudo element. For example, let's take this one and just paste it here. That's it. You should not specify any class ID or any element here. This is default. Okay. Now just save it. Go to browser. Now let's select this h1 element, you can see, select paragraph element, select div element. So it's working absolutely fine. So that's it. I hope you got the point that actually works. See you in the next video. Have a nice day.